Hi, I'm Greg Smoke. I'm the director of the American West Center and an associate professor of history here at the University of Utah. And I'm here to talk a little bit about our project at the American West Center called Native Places, a decolonial atlas of Utah and the Intermountain West. Now, the Native Places project um, really was inspired by work I've done over the years, but also work that a lot of other folks have done. And it's really rooted in the understanding that um, mapping the world is a colonial process. That as um, European nations and Euro-Americans colonized um, this continent, they, they drew new maps. They made the landscape legible in ways that made sense to them. And that almost always entailed erasing native history and native place names. The existence of hundreds of place names within a territory also is incontrovertible proof that these were native lands, that these were the lands of particular peoples, that they you know, spend that time um, naming these places and knowing these places in such specific ways. It, it's a lot harder to deny these places as native lands when you know that than it is if there's simply a line drawn on a map with one tribe's name on one side and another tribe's name on the other. So the process of renaming is, is also a process of erasure, and that's what we hope that this project addresses. We think of this as a means of also of heritage preservation. We hope that tribes will be able to use it as a tool for language instruction in K through 12 schools. And also, I hope it can be useful as a tool for people who want to craft land acknowledgement statements. I mean, that's sort of something that's, that's very much in the forefront in, in recognition today. Many institutions, including the University of Utah, have written land acknowledgement statements. But we have to go beyond just acknowledging um, that we operate, that we are sitting on native lands. Um, I think we need to do much more to benefit Native peoples. And by creating a heritage preservation tool, hopefully that's something we can give back to tribes as, um, as an institution of higher learning that goes beyond a simple land acknowledgement statement.